I have truly made a full-time job out of backing up out of this driveway with nothing but a 360 degree camera. Successfully, might I add. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Spark Plug TV. My name is Chris and I do car reviews for literally everybody, not just car enthusiasts. What does that mean? That means that I am a homosexual, doing it for the sake of other homosexuals and other letters in the pride alphabet. Anyways, please don't forget to like this video, comment something down below, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon so that you get notified whenever I drop a new video, which is at least twice a week now, hopefully. Here I am in the 2023 Mazda CX-50 2.5 Turbo Premium Plus. Not the longest name, but not the shortest one either. Welcome to the driving video. And right off the bat, what I can tell you is that this twin scroll turbocharged 2.5 liter four cylinder is a yes from me. And let me tell you why. BMW has also implemented the dual scroll, twin scroll turbocharger in their four cylinders. And that is a genius way to do a turbocharged four cylinder. It activates so much faster than a standard turbocharged. That it, it doesn't really leave a whole lot of room for lag because a lot of times there is off the jump a lot of lag from turbocharged engines and this is not one of them. And not only that, but it also makes an incredible throttle sound. I mean, come on, come on. It's just incredible how how much it sounds like a luxury car. I just, I can't get over that this thing sounds German made. And it buckles down and boogies like a German engineered sports car too. I think another one of my favorite aspects on this is that the drivability of Mazdas in general is so honed in that the sport mode doesn't really do much of anything other than jack up the RPMs and leave it at a lower at a lower gear so that it anticipates you, you know, accelerating faster. Like right now. Oh God, you can hear that turbo like spindle off. It's so great. Now I'm going to use the paddle shifters and get it up into my desired gear. I love the way that the turbo sounds when it backs off. It's so great. I mean, 6.6 .6 seconds zero to 60 isn't the fastest by any means, but it's pretty darn quick for an SUV. It's fun to drive too. There's nothing boring about this. Like if you're a mom or a dad and you want something fun to drive and you want something that will simultaneously be cool looking and cart your kids around in, I mean, with how big the trunk is, are you kidding? Like this thing is a steal, especially for the price point. All right, here we go. I mean, incroyable. Wow. Oh, that's so sick. That was so sick. Yeah, I mean, some tire squeal, but it's okay. I, I've been trying to think about this all week. Like what, what animal could I compare this to? I feel like in my head, the CX-5 was like a lemur where it was like, jumping from place to place and it was just really quick-witted and it was just like really, you know, really smooth. I don't know if some lemurs are smooth. It was smooth in the sense that it would just kind of like glide up and go off like, like a dolphin maybe? Oh, those are murderers though. This thing's like a jaguar or like, 
I, I think of it as like a Jaguar, not the car, the animal. Because I think it's like, whenever you see slow motion videos of Jaguars going up to their prey, you know, you can see their shoulder blades and stuff kind of like buckle in with them, but they're still so agile. They're so big, but they're still so agile. And I feel like that that encompasses what this is, is because this thing is, is relatively large, but it's still somehow so agile. I hope my analogy made sense because it, it, it makes sense in my head, the fact that I think that this is like performing like a jaguar, the animal. So let's talk about some of the other stuff. I mean, like, so the six speed transmission, it's sublime. The shifting ratios are good. The way that it hasn't slipped on me at all. In sport mode, it doesn't stay too highly revved and it's not like annoying or anything like that. It is very smart and keen on shifting. The suspension itself, you know, in terms of dynamic handling, already touched on that. But like the dynamic handling aside, it's actually a pretty comfortable ride. I mean, sure, you can feel bumps here and there. It's fairly comfortable. And I think in terms of, somebody on my Instagram asked me what what the road noise is like. And you can hear the engine pretty well, especially if you're accelerating pretty hard. And I think the only real amount of noise that you get from it is the tires themselves. So I think that the tires are a little bit loud but honestly, I don't think that it's any more or less than what I can hear in my Colorado. Um, and the Bose premium sound system drowns it out perfectly. I thought about if I even wanted to touch on the iActive safety sense this time round because I know that in my last video, I was very, let's say passionate about my disagreement on uh, the use of technology. <laughs> So I'm probably not gonna talk about it that much in this one, but I mean, again, the, the I will say that the iActive Sense's adaptive cruise control is there and it works great, you know, but the traffic assist is just like it was in the CX-5. So if you wanna know more about that, go look at my CX-5 driving video and you can learn more about it there because I'm not gonna talk about it again. Oh my God, how could I have forgotten about the blind spot monitoring system. First of all, the blind spot monitoring system is different in this car. So it's got the same triangle symbol that I've found in Mercedes, I've found in some Hyundais and in some BMWs. They must have either heard consumers or they just knew it was bad plainly and sourced it from somewhere else. Because this blind spot monitoring system, it literally answers the gripe that I had about the CX-5's blind spot monitoring system. Where the blind spot monitoring system failed, this one succeeds. It doesn't overcompensate. It turns off when the car is in full view of your side view mirror. And it's perfect, it works great. I don't have to worry about anything. I, I literally, it still shows up in the heads up display. It still shows up in your gauge cluster and it works perfectly. I am so glad that they have included this iteration of the blind spot monitoring system in this car. So before I get into my final thoughts on the car, I just want to reiterate from my last video that I am not paid to say any of this. I just get handed these cars as press vehicles and I make all of the choices to say this on my own or if I like it or not. There was somebody on my tracks, actually not somebody, there were hundreds of hundreds of people on my Chevy tracks video that swore I was paid to say that I thought that the Chevy tracks was gorgeous. I was not paid to say that. I just like the way that it looks. And that is the same sentiment that I have with this. When I tell you that I'm obsessed I mean, it's to the point that like, I wish I wasn't locked in on this lease on my Chevy Colorado because I don't necessarily need a pickup truck anymore. And I still need an SUV that's capable. If I didn't sink a whole bunch of money into my Colorado, I would be at the Mazda dealership right now trying to get some kind of lease figured out, even though leases aren't even that uh, good right now with the APR to begin with you know, banks failing and all that. Yeah, I just, I really don't, what are my, what are my cons about this? I don't really have any. I mean, 
Maybe the backseat headroom? I mean, is that it? I think maybe the only other con is still probably the eye active sense that I didn't even touch on. But a huge, a huge pro is the blind spot monitoring system. I'm so glad that they implemented a different version in this vehicle. The suspension's superb, the transmission's sublime, that engine is to die for. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than this. I mean, maybe if you have like money for a BMW, but still, in terms of like the standard realm, it doesn't get any better than this in my opinion. I mean, it's everything that I want in an SUV. It's agile, it's quick, it sounds good, it's luxurious, it's, it looks cool, um, and it's wide. I just love how wide it is. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon so that you get notified whenever I drop a new video. Thank you to Mazda, and I will see you guys next week. Bye bye Hey Sparks, thanks for watching today's video. Do you want more Sparkplug TV content? Then you can choose one of these three options. Right over here. The middle button is to subscribe to my channel, so please do that. Right over here. These three. I can't see them in real life, but they're right here.